Hey, it's me. Oh, man. Look the bottle out the way. It's just a second. Oh, uh, what's the thing over right here? Hey, what's this on? What's this? Snot? What, what, what's going on here? Oh, sorry. T. From the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. And, oh, sorry. This this is actually not vodka in here. This is, no, this is not vodka. No, you think this is, no, this is not vodka. You see, wait, hey, wait, that's vodka. No, no. See what happened? I told you before in another thing that, you know, I got this thing and I, I filtered the water there and then it's, I like to put it in glass because I don't like plastic and so I use this old, this old vodka bottle like fill up this is the water that I'm drinking water all day. That's the filter water, but I also have the other water that I got from here. Then I got the other water the Himalayan think water, you know, that I do. So right now, it's early morning. I just woke up, but I didn't just wake up. Actually, I woke up a while ago. I wake up early. Then I go to bed like nine, something like that. Then I used to wake up at 4.30 or so. And then I used to do stuff, you know, like check the internet and all the rest of that stuff. And right now, I'm drinking my morning tea. Tea, drinking tea. This is, this is uh, I get this Robo's chai. I like, I like chai. I like, and Robo's, Robo is the South African herb plant or whatever have you, and it, it's really, 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 very healthy for you. South Africa got a lot of good healthy stuff. So this is one hot tea in the morning, and this, uh, and with this uh, old honey thing, just put water in it, so it's really diluted. I don't have a lot of sugar in here. I don't let, put a lot of, you know, you, you sort of defeat the purpose when you load up your body with sugar, you know. So you got that, and I put a little bit of just to reconstitute the lemon. It's the end that they had this. I'm trying to get rid of that. No. Hot. See, that's what you want, and you want lemon. You want lemon because lemon is a natural, you know, natural thingy. You know, natural thingy is a good. But look, no, this is very short. Uh, I, I just realized, you know, we have to have strategies now because, you know, like I said, what's the first thing that happened with this with this virus? What's the first thing that happened? Come on, let, let's you think about it. That's right. The powers that be, them corporations, the politicians, they got together and they bail themselves out. Stuff that they had that, that, that had been putting on the ropes for years and years. They said, hey, we can slip this through and, and, and fund this and get money out of this, get money out of this. Meanwhile, we, they're not doing anything for us. They're hiding stuff from us and all the rest of that stuff. And they say, OK, we're going to write. Yeah, we're going to write. Yeah, write your congressperson, blah, 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 blah. Let me give you one solid thing that, I, that, that, that I'm definitely going to do. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but write my congressperson. Like I said before, another thing, when you write, yeah, you write the email, but make sure you copy it, right? And then you type out either write in longhand or both. Write in longhand, write a letter and send that letter through the mail. You know, I know you're taxing the mail people, but I don't know. Send a letter through the mail to, to, your, to your congressperson, whatever, or your senator. You know, CC it to bunch of senator, um, the state senator, uh, state assemblyman, congressperson, district, whoever, blah, 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 blah. And... Put it on their cousin so and so, you know. So everybody put CC them. Just you don't even have to send it to all the people. Just put a lot of CC. So common space. Oh, he he notified all these people about this. And here's it real quick. It seems to me if we're supposed to be some sort of this is a war against this virus, something like that. Then if it's who just just declare war. And then but but but, but since it's war against the virus, rather than a um, you know you don't have to. See, here's the thing. When you declare war against a virus, then you can't use your regular things. In other words, they, they, when they declare war against something, right, then they'll bring out the first thing they bring some sort of hardware, some sort of guns or whatever have you. Think about war against drugs. You know, they they, they activate the police forces around the world. You know, war against whoever. They, 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 and everything has involves with arms and stuff like that. You see? But here's a different thing. I say, here's what we do. We act. This is a war, and the weapon that we're going to use in this war is not your. Is not your. your, your the, the manufacturers making this. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. We need. Um, we need 3D machines in every locale, district, or, or every post office. You know what I mean? Uh, and somewhere, some set up the tents. You know, outside post office or outside. You know, whatever, whatever. And and in this thing, you have two 3D machines or more. You know what I mean? And you have a 3D machine that that they use the regular polymorph to make the you know the plastic, whatever they make it. Then another 3D machine that use metal. You know, metal kind of things. You got it, right? And therefore, you can make stuff, whatever you're making respirator parts, whatever you're making, you make that, then this stuff just stays in the community. So you can, the community continue to make stuff. You know, you want to repair a, a, a nut is missing from a bridge or whatever. I'm just saying a bolt is missing from a bridge, make the bolt, fix that bridge or whatever it is. And, the one, and they say, well, what are you talking about? You'll understand what I'm talking about when you understand what a 3D machine is, right? Now, 
you think about this. This is just like what they used to do. World War II, let's take Coca-Cola, right? What did they do? World War II. Every GI is going to have a Coca-Cola. We get to, so they built all these machines, you know, all these um, Coca, Coca-Cola distributing things all over the, all where, the, where the theaters of war was. Then after the war, war is over. Coca-Cola said, oh, hey, the war is over. We service us. Hey, but guess what? We got all these distribution factories. So let's, hey, here's what we do. We just... Hey, we're in place. We just put Coca-Cola all over the world. Boom. And one feels because of the war. Here's another thing. I was just watching this on a, on a documentary because I'm, you know, you know I watch documentary. You know, Nature Pro, that's what we watch, okay? You know, the Dave Chappelle thing, Mark Twain Award kind of thing. No, those kind of things we watch right now. But they, they was talking about uh, um, when airplanes were first, the big airlines, when airplanes were first started, they made like seaplanes. The airplanes, they logically, was going to take a basically an ocean line, the ocean. We're going to make it like an, make an air airliner, you know, an air ocean line. So, in other words, the um, the, uh, the the planes were landing in water. You know, like that guy, the Sully guy that landed in the Hudson River. Well, one of the planes landed in the Hudson River. They used to have the the, the seaplanes, whatever you want to call it. Remember that? Remember that program we grew up with? That that guy with the with, with the, had the seaplane. I forgot what it was called. Had the seaplane. Anyway, the point is, and because you know you can land a seaplane any place in the world because you got water. As long as you got a body of water, psh, like that. But then World War One happened. World War Two happened. What happened? Because they built all these roads for the tanks and stuff like that. They had, and then, blah, blah, blah. then what happens? Is because now you had because remember then you didn't have air strips you know what I mean you had to had to hit the end of roads and stuff like that but now since because of the war all over the the, the the this is why you know Europe and and America well America a whole other thing but they had more airports because you had roads like that the Africa wasn't really involved with that with that war so therefore. Well, they didn't have a lot of air airstrips. So when, when they finally kept on uh, exploding Africa, well, you know, they had one airstrip or two airstrips, but it wasn't like they had to develop in, in Europe and in Africa and other places in, whatever, in Asia, other places in the world. So now they had airstrips, so they got rid of the seaplanes. You see, understand? So now, since because the seaplanes were, were, were in competition with regular planes, because the regular planes didn't have air airstrips. But now after the war, they had airstrips. So therefore, the seaplanes, they went out of favor. You see how that works? So I'm just trying to say, Instead of having and in the people in the, in the, when they make these three when they put these three D machines whoever is bad in fact all I'm trying to say is we should control the three D machines and not some military not some congressional military industrial complex doing it. Now like I said congressional military industrial complex. everybody leaves that point. Out. The Congress, the politicians, they're the ones that set the policy to make this stuff happen. They put the money out, the budget out there. So now we have to stop them instead of saying turn turn weapons into plowshares. No, just leave them weapons. I don't know what you're going to do with the weapons. My point is, those same companies that make those weapons, no, they don't get the, no, 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 no. We have a whole new thing. The, uh, well, WPA, whatever, the uh, Workers Project, whatever they had in the, in the Dead, Dead Depression, which we're, we're going to have things that's worse than the Great Depression. Well, we're, we're making the machines and we're, and we're making the machines for each community to say, here's what we need in our community. We need, we need bolts for our bridges or we, or we need, uh, you need whatever, whatever we need. The community knows what they're making and they have the 3D machines and they make whatever they need. That's what should be happening right now. You need to send no money to to some some ocean liner to, you know, to be, be, no, that's not even registered in the United States. You know, man, look, I'm getting frustrated. Let me just stop right now. Just think about it. Just a little message from me, T from the Patterson, take the trains to bed. Reporting to you, talk to you from an undisclosed location. Letting you know what I only suspect.